The next round is all about people who hit the news this year. In April, Boris Johnson welcomed a baby boy. I'm not saying he's had a lot of kids, but when he arrived at the maternity ward, Boris asked for the usual. <laughs> <laughs> the new Chancellor of the Exchequer, Rishi Sunak, is teetotal, which I think goes some way towards explaining why he gave people money, time off, and then shut all the pubs. <laughs> OK, time for some more big fat questions all about people. First up, we're going over to R&B legend Craig David. <gasps> Hi, Jimmy. Hope you're well, mate. I'm off on tour next year celebrating 20 years of my first album, Born To Do It, which I am so looking forward to. Now, speaking of being born to do it, my fellow musician Grimes and her partner Elon Musk gave birth to their newborn son earlier this year. He was given a fairly interesting name, but can your teams remember what they called him? That's what I imagine the waiting room at Dignitas to be like. <laughs> That Very really nice. has that air to it, it doesn't, doesn't it? You nice. touch that crystal and then you just disintegrate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we know what he meant when he said he chilled on Sunday, that poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> OK. In March, uh, Gal Gadot, Natalie Portman and Cara Delevingne were all involved in a video that went viral. All I want to know is what happened in that video. I mean, they weren't the only ones in it. Loads of people in it. I'm sorry. I can't remember what the cause was. Uh, next, it's over to one-of-a-kind Mr Keith Lemon. Hi, everybody. Hi there, Jimmy Carr. My name is Chris Evans. You might know me as Captain America from the Avengers. But hey, I got a question for you. Back in September, I posted a little boo-boo on the Instagram. But hey, what was that boo-boo? Back to you guys for the answer. Yeah. That's Chris Evans. <laughs> I mean... We didn't ask him to do that. He just, he's got that stuff, so he dressed up. Um, OK, Keith wants to know what Hollywood's Chris Evans posted, then deleted on Instagram back in September. Question four in this round. In September, former Art Attack presenter Neil Buchanan was forced to issue a denial. What did he have to deny? Oh, my God, I missed that one. I'll write genocide. You write what you want to write. <laughs> <laughs> you right there, Stacey? Yeah. You look a bit like you've just stared up and thought, is there anything there? Yeah, I'm just... You look a bit like I the abyss. I am questioning the world, because I, don't, I didn't think Neil could do anything wrong, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not so much that he did something wrong, but people were saying something about him that he didn't do. He didn't do anything. Oh, good. So he's defending himself. He's defending himself. <laughs> he did, he did <laughs> nothing wrong. I thought he got in trouble. Even if he'd done it, it would have been a good thing. It would have been fine. Finally for this round, uh, back in January, Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop Company was selling a new scented candle. It cost $75 and sold out within hours. You each have one under your desks. Grab your candle. OK. All I want to know is, what was it called? Is this actually oh. the candle? Yes, this is actually oh, the, the candle. Oh, the actual name of it. The actual name of the candle. Is it supposed to be Gooch? No, it not Gooch. It smells like Graham Gooch. <laughs> one of the finest <laughs> opening batsmen. Ah, yes, I remember that smell. Graham Gooch. Uh, it was only yesterday when he strode out onto the wicket. <laughs> James, what are you what are you eating? Sorry. Ice cream. <laughs> it's melted perfectly. This what is what flavour are you? This is peanut butter ice cream right now. Wow, that is that is heavy. <laughs> are you ready for answers? Yeah. 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 You've yes. all got something. Okay, all right. First up, Craig David wanted to know what tech billionaire Elon Musk and his partner Grimes named their child. What did you put, James, Stacey? Craig David. <laughs> <laughs> You think they named their child Craig David and we got Craig David to ask the question? Yeah, that would be great, wouldn't it? That would be great, you're <laughs> correct, and you're wrong at the same time. Um, David, Maya? Well, we thought, uh, semen. <laughs> they would call their child... <laughs> semen. <laughs> You've got to have respect for, you know, wh where you came from. Yeah. It's also, that wouldn't be a good name, cos Seaman Musk sounds... Oh. <laughs> Not the right answer. I think you're pretty close. Uh, could you pronounce that for me? Yes, it's... <laughs> <laughs> I think you've got it sort of right there. You've got bits of it right. X Ash A12. You get a half point there, because yeah. you're pretty close. The X stands for the unknown variable. Ash is the elven spelling of AI, artificial intelligence, and also a word for love. Uh, A12 is the precursor to their favourite aircraft, the SR-17. Why did they go for the, the precursor to their favourite aircraft? And not Rather than just the favourite one. Because SR-17 be a silly thing to call a kid. Yes, you're right. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> silly question. Next, I asked you what uh, Gal Gadot and some of her celebrity friends did in a video. Did you get this? We said... They sang Imagine in 15 different keys. I mean, that's, that is specific. Uh, James Stacey? Yeah, Imagine. OK. Uh, sang yeah. Imagine, but it was shite. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let's remind ourselves of the cringeworthy and pretty painful to watch rendition. Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. Nothing to kill or die for. They may say that I'm a dreamer. And the world will be as one. Yeah, it's fairly cringeworthy. If you listen very carefully, though, at the end, you can hear John Lennon turning in his grave. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't get the point. I was like, oh, this is cute, but why? Like, it doesn't... Was it, no, it fixed coronavirus, don't you remember? No. <laughs> <laughs> they did that right at the beginning as well. Yeah. That's, like, early to, to go nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Even now, I don't feel on the verge of texting anyone and going, do you want to do something that batshit? <laughs> <laughs> if they've done Rabbit by Chaz and Dave. You're familiar with Rabbit by Chaz and Dave? No. It's a hell of a tune. Bunny, rabbit, you won't stop talking. <laughs> Why don't you give it a rest? Yeah. It's a very wonderful uh, hymn yeah. to women shutting up. Okay. It's such a lovely sentiment as a song. <laughs> it really is so nice. <laughs> and especially at Christmas. <laughs> it's the song we always put on. And could we go, it's Christmas? Give it a rest. <laughs> it's a lovely... And it's lovely to have it musically backed up. You used to be able to have a hit song with basically misogyny. <laughs> have a listen. Nice, great, lovely, lovely, lovely. lovely. Yes. Okay, slightly. Hang on. Because. This was a hit. This was like a number one. More rabbit than Sainsbury's. Yes. That boy was a good that. Couldn't even get to Sainsbury's because she was always bending your ear. <laughs> I'll be right to get Sainsbury's for a day now. You don't stop talking. <laughs> if that was the end credits to Loose Women, it would be <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Keith Lemon asked you what Chris Evans posted, then quickly deleted from Instagram in September. What did you put, uh, David? We guessed, so we just yeah. put product placement for anus on. <laughs> oh, no, no, he, he showed the front, not the back. Yeah, um, yeah. Joe, Richard? A picture of his privacy. What a lovely phrase. Thank you. Stacey James, did you get this? Best day of my life in lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> it was just so exciting to see because you only ever see average everyday willies, don't you? And then so when you see like an A-list willy, you think, oh my goodness, this is like gold dust. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's a pretty Willie out there, though. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, but there isn't. They all just look really sneaky. No! Like, hello! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello! Do you know what? In fairness, yeah. though, Stacey, I shouldn't have had mine wearing a monocle when I showed it to you. <laughs> yes, so Chris Evans, he made the best of the mishap, so he tweeted that by mistake, and he, he took to Twitter and said, now that I have your attention, vote on November 3rd. Ah. I asked you what Neil Buchanan was forced to deny back in September. What, what did you write on this, James, Stacey? We could only ever imagine that it was that he could fly or... Existence of God. <laughs> yeah. Joe, Richard, what did you get? Natural selection. He, you think he denied in September of this year natural selection? Yeah. He was forced to. <laughs> and then you've written underneath? He's not dead. He's not dead? No, he's not dead. I think Maya and uh, David have the answer. David? We put, he denied being Banksy. Just like Banksy would. <laughs> <laughs> that is the exact right answer. Wow. I knew he was just such an amazing person. Uh, the, uh, how's the ice cream go? You've had a pint of peanut butter ice cream. I'm eating the whole thing. Um, I feel sick. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no, peanut butter ice cream will do that to a man. Doesn't feel good. <laughs> I actually think me and him would be friends in school. How old are you? 35. Yes, sir. Yeah, boy. Well, you're my age. 26. <laughs> no! <laughs> good, boy, boy. You haven't got facial hair. You still look new. Yeah, I'm a new boy! <laughs> Art attack. <laughs> wow. wow, you are on a sugar high. Oh. Never felt so alive. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I asked you the name of Gwyneth Paltrow's candle. What have you got? Oh. Smells like my vagina. <laughs> uh, and you've gone with, uh, Richard? This smells like my privacy. Yeah. Earlier this year, uh, Goop brought out a candle called This Smells Like My Vagina. There oh. it is, in its glory. 
points all round. If this is what her vagina smells like, it is a cause for medical concern. <laughs> <laughs> OK, time now for a very special bonus round uh, where I'm going to introduce a mystery guest. All you need to do is tell me who they are and why they made headlines this year. You can only ask yes or no questions. Please welcome our mystery guest. <laughs> It's very nice to have you here. They can only ask yes or no questions. He made the news this year in a big way. We'll all be familiar with this story. Was it to do with the lockdown? Yes. Did you supervise the eye test at Barnard Council? <laughs> no. OK. Are you Banksy? <laughs> no. Oh, that's what Banksy would say. Yeah. I've got it, Banksy. Gotcha, <laughs> sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Are you anything to do with the government? Is it is this story government based? Yes. Elaborate. No, he, he cannot elaborate. No. Yes or no. <laughs> yes or no question. Yes or no. <laughs> Don't you, you got to stop he talking. Bloody bloody rabbit. So question wise, so so far we have found that it's something to do with the lockdown. Mm. He doesn't work for the government, but it's to do with the government. Is it a, th a clip that went viral? Were you caught in a clip? Yes, yeah, yeah. Oh. it was a clip that oh, went viral. Well, I don't it? say what you think it was. Don't say what you think it was. Do you reckon? Uh, something yeah. governmental. What, that guy? He would have come on here if that was him. No, OK. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! <laughs> but what was it? It was a... Don't you look at my <laughs> answer! Don't <laughs> look at the answer! <laughs> don't! Come on! Hi, Stacey. How are you? Hi. I know what it was, too. But... Yeah, back off, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Who gave Joe those curtains? Um, Joe, Joe I Carroll. brought them myself. Isn't that clear? <laughs> uh, James, Stacey, did you get anything? We were like Masturbate Live and we crossed it out. <laughs> David, who do you think this man is? Wembley Lasagna. <laughs> Wembley lasagna, what do you mean by that? What I mean by that is that there was a hoax online and people, That's some people it. believed it, that they were making a giant lasagna in, in Wembley, Wembley Stadium, Stadium to feed people yeah. during lockdown. OK, what did you, Joe, what did you get? Yeah, voice memo that went viral about a lasagna in Wembley. OK, uh, could you tell them who you are? I'm Billy and I'm responsible for the Wembley voice note. Hey. Points, points, no points! <laughs> We should hear it. Yeah. It's a fine, fine point. Let's have a little listen. Also, just so you know, um, my sister, her boyfriend's um, brother, sister's works in the Ministry brother. of Defence. Yeah, of course he does. They're basically worried that people are going to get stuck indoors without any food. Brilliant. So one of the things that they're doing is they're actually working on making a massive lasagna. <laughs> um, so they're actually, at the moment, as we speak, they're building, like, the massive lasagna sheets. But they're having to make the special sheets, obviously, because they've not got one big enough, because they're making lasagna the size of Wembley Stadium. <laughs> Looking forward to that, because I do quite like lasagna as well. <laughs> uh, Billy, everyone. I mean, come on. That's terrific. So, um, where did you get the idea? There were just loads of voice notes going around at the time, and uh, I was kind of bored at home working, and I thought, do you know what, I'm going stick, to stick something out there. Uh, apparently, a lot of your ex-partners have said they knew it was you because you're obsessed with lasagna. Yeah. A lot of your ex-partners. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, he mentions lasagna a lot. Yeah. Yeah, there was quite a few. Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, at the end of that round, the scores are... Uh, James and Stacey have 11. Woo! Just ahead, David and Maya with 13 in the lead. Uh, Joe and Richard with 17 and a half. Wow. Wow! 